So this is my room at VidCon. This is my badge at VidCon. This is my thing of popcorn at VidCon. This is my spoon at VidCon. VidCon! VidCon so good! VidCon is so good! I'm so happy about VidCon that I'm at it. So good. On the badge, you're supposed to write your uh, passion. So on one side, I have this beautiful, heartfelt little message that my passion is other people. And on the other side, it's also the truth that I'm an extremely shallow person and my vanity is extremely important to me. R.I.P. Rip my uh, beautiful split jeans, black on one side, white on the other. I propped my leg up on a car to take a picture in a pose of valor. And right under the butt. I tried to fix it, I gave it the old college try, but in the end it was unmendable. In the mend it was unendable. In the end it was amendable. And I didn't have normal scissors. What I had was these little babies from the sewing kit. These are nothing cut-wise. Couldn't cut hair with this. Literally nothing. If I put the wig in jeopardy, I was confident that they would not destroy this beautiful head of hair. So what I ended up doing was hacking through the denim with these tiny little nothing scissors. Just tearing through, but I couldn't tear through the seams. So I ended up just gnawing them apart. Literally gnashed at it until the leg came off. I went to the Exceptionally Ordinary tour, and it was so good. There was a lot of dancing and a lot of laughing and a lot of good good times. Fresno had a set that was so funny and so creative I could not even control my laughter and I felt awesome from the laughter for hours afterwards and Tom Milsom had such a good set and there was so much energy and we were all up right by the stage and everyone was dancing and it was so good. Ah. There was a Becoming YouTube panel uh, about becoming YouTube, the show, on the YouTube, on the YouTube, and that it is about the YouTube, and that it is on the platform that is YouTube. And it was interesting, the conversation rose again, about female content creators and why they don't get as much exposure or attention. And Lex made the interesting point that he had discounted beauty gurus as if they didn't count when they had the you know, same sort of audience engagement and the same originality as any sketch comedian or vlogger. And she made the point that he had musicians, animators, sketch comedy people, vloggers, and that he leaving out beauty gurus was an oversight at least because, because if you're making the point that female uh, content creators are being ignored while ignoring this female-led segment of YouTube, that you're missing out on a lot of important insight into the way YouTube functions, and especially the way it can function in a female-led space within YouTube. And that was interesting. And it was a panel of all guys and one girl. And then the next panel I went to was the less than famous panel for smaller YouTubers who maybe don't reach millions of eyeballs. And what was interesting about that then was that it was a panel of all girls and one guy. So there's something there I don't, I haven't quite formed like what exactly is significant about that, but there's definitely something there to think about. And it's something about the way um, smaller communities can um, free itself from power structures in a way that maybe larger communities can't. Um, let me know what you think about that, if you'd like to, because there's definitely something interesting to talk about there. Uh, I said not to go to any signings because I feel that's more about the fame uh, culture aspect of YouTube, which is, you know, fun on all, I suppose, but I'm way more interested in the community aspect of YouTube, and I have not been disappointed at all. The Less Than Famous panel, people there were so insightful and they had really great, interesting things to say. I also got my copy of Story War. And I can't wait to play it. It was really fun when I played it at the playtest. And my roommates are wonderful and fantastic. We've been hanging out so much. And we literally clicked like that. They didn't know each other. None of us knew each other. And I'm so lucky to have been rooming with some really cool people. And 
We're not just pretty faces. Hi. Hi. That's Emma. That is Liz. Oh. And that's my Lynn. I feel like we all feel the same way today. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, the kind of the gossing. Yeah. Yep. It made me ill. That's how it's going. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting a sore throat like too. Yeah. yeah, I'm dying. Thank you for giving me beautiful memories, beautiful friendship, and also Mono. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Thanks, VidCon Lone Wolves. VidCon! <laughs> so, yeah, if you ever need a VidCon roommate, go on VidCon Lone Wolves, and you never know what you will find. We sat around singing One Direction in here, and we just got along so well, and I'm so happy, and I'm just meeting people. And just going up and ha striking up conversation. And it's so easy because everybody's so open to it. <sighs> like everybody has something interesting to say, which is true in real life. But even truer when everybody has the same very specific set of interests that you know you can talk about. And then branch out. Wi-Fi here is shit. <laughs> Do they not know who we are? We are people of the internet. We have need. Oh, everything's so wonderful. I'm so glad I'm here. And if you are not here, I hope at some point you get a chance to come to a VidCon because it's so good. I'm so happy. Oh, and it's such a fashion show here. If, if a person's not decked out in, like, fandom wear, then they are, like, you know, awesome colored hair, you know, cool pants. Like, oh, my gosh. And I talked to these two, like, little kids, like, maybe eight or nine, maybe even younger, who made uh, YouTube videos. And they were really sweet. And I'm definitely going to check out their channel. It's, um, I wrote it on my hand, 240 Reviews. And, you know, they were just so charming. And their dad was cool, too. So it's really cool to see that even people so young getting into the community. I love it. Bye.